Hi, Pete Moore, editor of Shooting Sports. Welcome to Gunmark Television. Uh, what we have here is the Merkel Helix, which is a straight pull rifle. It's been out for a few years now, and you can see it in various formats, different stocks and things. Um, the rifle itself is interesting because it's probably the biggest competition for the Blazer R8 in terms of what it offers. And it is a little bit unique in terms of straight pulls. Um, and also it has the fastest barrel change I've ever seen in my entire life and the shortest action throw. Um, but the real difference on this gun is the stock. Last year Merkel launched this IRA and it's called the, um, the model's called the Speedster and they call it the Speed Stock. Basically, it's, they make a big thing about the fact it's a thumb hole style, if you see upright pistol grip, big aperture here, without the top strap. And they say it's a lot quicker uh, when you get your hand out to operate the gun. Um, yeah, maybe no, I don't know, but it offers quite an upright grip, quite a squared off target style butt, even though it's a hunting rifle. Uh, what it does have is a um, adjustable comb, which is quite nice. Uh, and it has a memory function. Basically, the comb goes down, and it ju jumps up to where it was before, uh, or you just press it in and adjust accordingly. Length of pull is adjusted by pulling off the butt and putting in spacers, which is quite interesting because that's quite a primitive, though effective way of doing it, and yet they've got this really high-tech comb. I'd have thought they might have put something a little bit more in keeping with, with, with this system. Uh, rough itself, has, um, if you look at the action, you can see this lever moves 2.75 inches, and that's all it moves. So, which is sort of about the length of an unfired round. Yet, the ejection port is, I think, 3.25 inches long, and the gun is um, chambered up to, I think, 338 wind mag. Uh, what it is, it's a short movement for a long bolt, if that makes sense. Uh, but inside is a mechanical advantage, two to one mechanical advantage system, which gives you this consistently short stroke. Uh, it's, a, it's a weird thing to get used to because I'm used to my blaster where you pull back all the way and push forward all the way. And if you pull and push, it sometimes feels like it's not quite there, but you do have to be a little bit firm with it. But it's very short, as you can see, there's no reaching forward, the hand is right where it needs to be. Like most European guns of this nature, it's got a decocker. You can see, red for fire, and then you just press the button on top, and it slides down where the action is now locked. But in order to unlock it, you just push up about an eighth of an inch, and it comes back. Uh, magazine, single column box mag. Uh, three or five rounds, in this case this is a five rounder, which is really done for uh, more for driven hunts. It will be my personal choice, give me a choice of three or five rounds, I'm going to take five. Loads quite easily. Um, there's, there's three groups in here, um, caliber groups, so you can have triple two, 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 three, your common stuff, and then the magnums which includes 300 wind mag and 338 wind mag. Uh, nice thing about it is, on top, the receiver has an integral molded in uh, Picatinny rail front and rear. So you don't need to buy expensive mounts like certain other makes that will set you back thick in a 400 quid. Um, Merkel offer a QD mount for this, but it's nice to see something where you don't have to throw an extra four or 500 quid at something that is perhaps not essential you don't know about. Um, today on, t on test with, with the rifle, I've got a Magnus 2.4 to 16 by 56 illuminated scope quite nice um, this will be the subject of the review as all this in this month's shooting sports March issue right barrel change is pretty much amazing this button here you press it the fore end comes off and if you turn the rifle over you can see a lever here you pull the lever down you're done put it back there's lugs you align goes back in so the nice thing about it is, unlike certain switch barrels, um, you don't have to take the, uh, the scope off. That's locked in. This goes forward. And the other very unusual thing about it is, if you do the same thing with the bolt shut,
the bolt head comes out of the barrel. It locks back in like that. The downside of this is, well not the downside, but something that I'm not keen on because I'm a fiend for cleaning guns. You, it's hard to access the bolt. If you want to access the bolt, the butt's got to come off. You've got to knock out the pins and take the bottom metal off, um, which I think is too much of a pain in the arse and people really won't probably bother cleaning. But that's the one negative on the rifle. Um, obviously, you can buy different calibers and different, uh, and, and different barrels for it. This is a fluted 22 inch. You can get longer. You can get 17 mil. You can get 19 mil diameters. I mean, Merkel have really gone to town on this. Goes. That locks up. Let's check it's okay. One thing I do when I change the barrel on this, um, because the, the most critical error of any switch barrel rifle is return to zero, and that is really critical. Because if it doesn't return to zero, then you're going to have to check zero before you go hunting, which is a pain. Um, I was testing this the other week using RWS 170 grain um, double core ammo, and the rifle off the bag here is shooting half inch 100 meters, which is pretty good for a hunting gun. And it's a good tube. Um, I then took the barrel off. Uh, when I put it back on, I put a round in there without it being cocked and just chambered it. Then I locked it in because that, that seems to help to align the barrel a little bit. But then I re re shot a second three round group and they fell almost exactly on the first three round group. And you can't complain about that really, you really cannot. But yeah, that, that's the Merkel. It's different, uh, not exactly cheap. They're around, sort of, depending on the model and, and the mark, you get around 500, uh, 5,000 pounds, depending what it is. Um, but they are different. They're, they're an alternative straight pull, and they are certainly seem to be gathering speed in terms of popularity in Europe. Okay, so let's have a look at it. So just push forward, safety's up. Because the other nice thing about this is, that I forgot to mention, is that because the bolt is enclosed, it never comes back at you. Uh, often on a, on a standard bolt type gun you tend to without thinking it see the bolt coming back in the periphery and lift your head up you can just keep your head fat on the stock Merkel Helix Speedster um, the stock's quite nice um, the rifle is again quite impressive so if you're looking for something different in a straight pull I would check this out seriously <laughs> 